So your shout outs for this video goes to Brian Galeas, Coaster Thrills, Jason Pierce, Mensis Unius, and Shadow and Sloth. If you've got a shout out for tomorrow's video, then please comment them down below and I'll make sure to put them in tomorrow's video. Let's get into this theme park news update from Chessington Wall of Adventures Resort. Hello there guys, my name is Coaster Child Doncaster Bourne, but built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park Newsroom update where today we're going to be talking about a trademark that has been put in for Chessington World of Adventures. I'm going to talk about the trademark's name in a little bit, uh, but we're also going to be sharing with you the latest construction on the brand new drop tower for 2021. Uh, on the site of Ramesses Revenge and we're going to talk about my thoughts at the end as well So before we get into all of that, let me tell you how you guys can interact with Coaster Channel YouTube channel If you've loved this video, make sure you hit the like button below Make sure you also comment down below your thoughts and opinions on the video topic And also make sure you subscribe to Coaster Channel YouTube channel for more And click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video Please share the channel with your friends, your family and our social media And make sure you also comment down below your video suggestions which will be saved Your shout outs which will be saved for the next day's videos And also make sure you send in your merchandise continuously on Instagram and Snapchat The links for both are in the description down below and I'll save your merchandise pictures with your name and location for the next merchandise showcase video also make sure you get your questions in the comments down below use the hashtag question before or after your question and they will be saved for our 2,000 subscriber Q&A also guys make sure you reach that subscriber goal of 10,000 subs in the next 365 days and counting if we do that I will release coaster channel merchandise on a new website as well as other projects I've got planned for the long-term future. Let's get into another thrilling video. So that is how you can interact with the channel and now let's get into talking about this theme park newsroom update. Now before we get started I want to give a massive shout out and credit for the images for the planning images for the drop ride um, while I'm talking about this information all the credit goes to South Parks Towers Towns and South Parks they're a brilliant news source uh, make sure you go and follow their website make sure you subscribe to all of their social medias I'll put them in the description down below and let's get into this theme park news update on the trademark filed by Chessington for the brand new drop ride so before we get started talking about the trademark, let's talk about what's been happening since the 18th of June 2020. So we're going back a few weeks here. So work on removing Ramesses Revenge and preparing for the site of the new drop tower ride has progressed and the site is almost unrecognisable. So according to themeparkguide.biz, again I'll leave that link in the description down below for you to read yourself. The old Ramesses Revenge rock work behind the ride has now been removed and preparation for the new ride has begun. Due to construction workers only being back to work as of June 2020, not much has happened apart from the site office for the works installed and the pit starting to be dug out. And all the signage for the ride remains sat behind construction fences, which is a very interesting read. However, recently it's been told that Croc Drop is the brand new trademark filed by Chessington World Adventures and Millen Entertainment for the brand new 2021 attraction. So that is the latest on site. Not a lot to talk about on site and of course with the trademark news as well. But I wanted to talk about that name really, Croc Drop. Now Croc Drop is a very interesting name indeed. Now Croc Drop is of course uh, the trademark like I told you about. Uh, and I told you about what was going on on site. I thought it was interesting with the uh, signage being behind the construction fences. So the fact that it's not been completely like torn down and demolished and things like that could suggest they could be like refurbishing those signs so that's an interesting move uh, but the the name croc drop now I'm kind of in two minds about this name I don't know what your thoughts are comment down below um, but my thoughts on this really are in two ways on the one hand if it was a thrilling drop tower not like a family friendly one then I wouldn't think it would be a good name I'd go with something more along the lines of the Sobek theming because the Sobek is like the Egyptian half human half crocodile story that they're going with with this ride so i would go with a more sobek themed name 
On the other hand, though, I think that Croc Drop is a good family name. It's a, it's a family drop tower. Now, I heard from a few places, random places online, across social media and on the internet, that the rumoured manufacturer was SBF Visa. Of course, they're the uh, manufacturer of Magma at Poltons Park. So, I think we kind of knew from the beginning that we were looking at something like Magma at Poltons Park. Of course, if you didn't know what that is, it's a volcanic eruption themed drop tower that opened at Poltons Park back in 2012. Um... It was like the follow-on year from Peppa Pig World, which of course is their main first expansion uh, from Poulton's part that really set them off to become a worldwide destination. Uh, it was 2011 really that set them all off and then of course the, the follow-on from that was Magma and of course that was an impressive attraction for the park. So, you know, it was very, very much a... Um, it's a great ride from what I've seen from reviews. So I think if it is SPF Visa, which it looks likely to be, then um, obviously that'll be a great ride because of the good reviews that Magma was getting. But of course, we won't know for sure until uh, track starts to appear on site for the drop tower. The actual pieces start to appear on site uh, later down the line. Uh, but the name Croc Drop, like I said, I'm in two minds about it. But because it's a family drop tower, I really like the name of it. I think it's a good family drop tower name. Um, and I like that it's gone for that name, and I like that they've gone for the attraction type, because of course, you know, Chessington is more of a family theme park, so, uh, I think Ramesses Revenge wasn't really in the, the family thrill category, if you like, so I think that we, I, I think we are looking at a great family attraction, and I think that, you know, we're looking at something that's going to be more suited to Chessington's market than Ramesses Revenge. So, and of course, the park needed a drop tower. You know, Thorpe Park's got one. Alton Towers had an indoor one. Uh, but I think they do need a new drop tower, Alton Towers, uh, if they can build it up to the certain height restrictions they have. So, Chessington were the next Merlin Park in the UK to get a drop tower. Hopefully, Alton Towers is next. Because uh, Thorpe, Park, Thorpe Park's already got Detonator, which is a Fabry uh, from 2003. Um, or 2000, sorry, 2001, sorry. Uh, I got the years mixed up then. So Thorpe Park had the Fabry version detonator in 2001, and of course Alton Towers had Nemesis of Terror indoors dropped our system from uh, 2012 to 2016. Uh, so, you know, I think that uh, Alton, Tower, um, Alton Towers could be next to get a permanent drop tower ride, but it's nice that Chessington are the next part before Alton Towers and after Thorpe Park to get a drop tower, and of course it's more suited to their market, so... Uh, I think that it could see that there's a future for new flat rides in the uh, UK theme parks. I think that, especially with the Merlin parks like Alton and Thorpe, I think Alton needs more flat rides, really. I think Thorpe Park may choose to add a new flat ride, and we have had a new flat ride since uh, a few years ago now. So uh, I think that Thorpe does need a brand new flat ride. Uh, so maybe this could be a good sign for the long term future, but for Chessington's market, I think that this is going to be a great attraction for them. So thank you very much guys for watching this theme park news room update from Chessington World of Adventures Resort on their brand new drop tower which is looking likely to be called Croc Drop. Um, so we've got some great projects coming in 2021 haven't we? We've got Black Mirror Labyrinth at Thought Park delayed from this year. Uh, World of David Williams at Alton Towers with the Gangster Granny Ride, Dart Ride, uh, again, delay from this year. Uh, the new drop tower at Chessington since the rainforest area for this year is already open. It's open with the park. And of course... Um, Obviously, in Legoland Winds, we've got the Lego Movie World. Of course, that's going to be coming in 2021 uh, because Duplo Dream Coaster already opened at Legoland Winds, so uh, that'll be open with the park. So, very, very nice indeed. Thank you very much, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Send in, don't forget, check out the community because you can send in your funny and weird and cringy theme park commercials for my twin brother, Mr. Serious, to laugh at in a few days' time. Or might try and make him laugh, I think. Uh, but for now, guys, my name is Coast Chow, killing the Coast Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome time.